Hey there, today I have some brand new travel essentials from Amazon. This is the newest travel gear you are going to need for any of your vacations this year. If you're going to the beach, I have some great travel essentials for you as well. Okay, this is a must have travel item from Amazon. These are brand new liquid bags. They're quart size. Notice that the zippers go over the edges, which mean a travel hack for you. And that is that you can fit more containers in this quart sized bag because of the zippers, how they go over the edges. My latest one is the one I normally travel with because it does have a little handle and it comes in a toiletry kit set. Uh, but these are great options and you get three for one. If you are flying with a family and you need uh, toothbrush covers, these are so cute and you get more for your buck. <laughs> they are to cover electric toothbrush heads, but they also fit on regular toothbrushes. My favorite toothbrush is this foldable kind because it has such big air holes in it. I've just bought my updated one over the last few months. When I'm on vacation, I use floss sticks and I love these individual travel packs. They come in like eight to a set. So I've given them as gifts as well. I know a lot of you do not like lifting a personal item bag. So I have a rolling suitcase that will fit under most airplane seats. The wheels are fantastic. Quality is excellent and it's found on Amazon. I love these new Burberry dupe pouches for travel. They will hold a lot also because of the zippers going over the edges. And these handles I also think are top quality. They're not the thready kind that are gonna have threads that pull off. It also comes with this little pouch. I think the zipper part is super cheap, but it's just so cute. One thing I want you to notice is that they are mesh on the outside looking, but they are completely see-through and plastic on the inside. I'll also list some smaller pouches that I always travel with because they can fit in little pockets of space if that might help you. I bought this only to show you that you really don't need it, but I know many of you like it. It does have the beach theme to it and other patterns as well, but it will also fit a full size Yeti and those water bottles. And three things that I like about it is one, that, two, it's completely padded for absorbing the condensation when you buy a freezing cold bottle of water in the airport and the Velcro is very strong and it fits on your uh, suitcase handles. For me, I'm returning it because I don't need it to go under my backpack or over my backpack. It's just odd and I do not drink that much in the airport. It does also have the pocket in the back if you want to just stash something real fast. And I have to remind everyone about these really cute watch charms. If you want mouse ears or pets and you do not even feel them on the watch band. My newest beach bag that I love, oh, there's my dress I was gonna show you, <laughs> is so beautiful. I love the streamlined look of it. I'm not taking it to the beach, however. This is just going to be a tote bag that I would use at the beach or going to lunch with friends. I like that the magnet closure right here has this leather around it. I think that's a nice touch. And sometimes when you buy straw bags, the quality is not that good. This is really good and it sits up on its own, which is also another thing to factor in. And there is also a zippered pocket and an open pocket. I just think it's so pretty. The bag that I will take to the beach or the pool is this one that I've had probably two or three years. There's so many pockets in it and you can totally hose it down when there's sand in it. Sometimes when you have fabric on the inside of a pool bag, the sand uh, stays in there even if you shake out that fabric. But I love this kind of bag for just throwing and getting it completely wet and sandy for the beach. There's a new swim cover up by the same company that I've used. I'm returning it because I just wanted to see if their quality was still good for you. Um, and this color just does not look good on me. One thing I want to tell you when you're looking at swim cover-ups, 
is be careful about the crochet look because that can age you really, really fast. So a dark crochet look with this one, I think looks great or with a dark color. Um, the lighter colored ones, I don't like the crochet. This is my old one that is still available and both of these are a size medium. I'm a size 10, 5, 8, they're long enough for me and they are not see-through. I like the details in this bathing suit cover-up. It's more of a shirt function, but if you'll notice, the other style that they have available for you has these little dots on them. I bought this sleeveless dress. It does not show your tummy. It is not see-through. If you just had a partial hysterectomy like me, it's a great dress. I know many of you do not like sleeveless dresses, so they also make them with short sleeves as well as long sleeves. So I will be sure to link those for you as well. One thing I really like about the sleeve details of this dress is it's a nicer fabric around your sleeve or the cuff of your sleeve. I would size up to a large in this maxi dress with the sleeves on it. Another travel essential I got from Amazon is this green one that I'm wearing. Love it, especially in the in-between times with a denim jacket. And I wanna show you this. Up here, it looks like on the Amazon picture, if you're looking at it, that it comes way down. It does not at all. It is completely covered. <laughs> it covers me completely. I feel very confident in it. And even when the wind blows like it does out front, when my son is taking pictures of me for Instagram, um, it does not cling against your tummy. This strawberry red dress that I wore for my 50th birthday celebration weekend last year is still available and they have some new styles that I'll link for you. It does not flare up your dress on a super windy day when you're trying to take pictures, just so you know. I do wear a slip under that one, but this turquoise one, or whatever it's called, teal colored one, which I absolutely love for all times of year. It looks great with cowboy boots and with heels. Um, this dress is also available as well and is not see-through whatsoever. This is one of my favorite clutches to take to the beach. There is no strap. It's enough for your phone and your little travel wallet. That's also RFID. This is the updated one that I love traveling with, but I just think it's so pretty and it would go with every type of dress for the beach. A lot of you have liked the waist belt or fanny pack that I have that has 11 pockets in it. Um, I do agree that it's fantastic. I loved it at the ski trip that I went on, um, but also it is a little large. So you can wear it across your chest like that as a half backpack or around your waist. That's how I wore it at the ski trip. You've seen all of my crossbody bags that I've bought from Amazon because I just love them, but they are a little too small. So I finally found a Madewell dupe, which is a little bigger. It's like a camera bag size and it's got the light interior and two zippered areas. Okay. Ooh, yay. My fingernail file. I have one. This is a travel case for my fingernail file that I keep in my purse for every day. And then there's one in my backpack for travel. Love them, but I just use a, an Emery board. I like this also because it has two pockets, one on this side and one on this side, and then all the pockets inside. If you do not like a pattern and just want the smooth front, um, they do have those available. I also have an RFID slash resistant strap crossbody bag that I use for European travel. The inside is purple. I think this gold is my favorite. That's why I only kept this one because I do like the smaller kind of bag, especially in the winter fitting underneath a coat. But I will also link the other two that many of you like because you don't like taking a small bag like that, that I've also used. This next travel essential would be great for a beach vacation. And that is the 16 pairs of earrings. These come in this really good Tupperware container, but I would choose the few earrings that are essential for this trip. And I would pack them in my little travel case. The little pouch is going to protect those larger earrings that are still fragile with the little post on the end. And it is detachable from the jewelry case, clothing. 
I had to add this newest travel essential last minute because I just got it yesterday. It's a double-sided glasses holder. So for me, with traveling and having to use my reading glasses and sunglasses, it's one case. And look how it's about the same size as my regular reading glasses case. This travel gear is for the beach or a theme park, for example, and I love it for three reasons. You can hose it out, the zippers go over the edge, which means you can pack a lot in it, and it will hold your valuables if you're going to take a walk on the beach with the sea breeze whisking away all of the other worries too. And this two ounce sunscreen for your scalp is great, and I really like the precision spout too. I also found these little coin purses. They come in a four pack and they're great for those people who do not like a backpack like I like with 16 or 17 pockets inside. This one and my black and white striped one have like 16 and 17 pockets, but many of you do not want all those pockets. But these are just another way that you can organize things inside your travel bag. This is the newest thing I bought. I love them. They're a deck of cards for the airplane. So if you're playing, uh, what is it? What's that? Oh my gosh, solitaire. If you're playing solitaire, they will all fit on the tray table for you. And yes, they do have the joker cards as well. We finally bought luggage trackers, as well as the little keychain that would hold them. I do think you need a little container. If there is no overhead bin space, it, there is a high possibility that your airline is going to have to check your bag for free last minute, but that is why we now use luggage trackers. This selfie stick is the absolute best one for travel because it is so compact and will fit in the bottom or side of your backpack. I've put it in the water bottle section of my backpack. Look how small that is. Isn't it great? Just in case you are going on a winter trip this spring, these wedges are so, so, so cute. They're not waterproof, but do not fall for the ones that are short. I know a lot of influencers are showing them, and this brand specifically. They are so hard to put on, but the wedges just glide right in there. And then these boots are also available and are waterproof, the good old duck boot style. The inside is that 3M fur, which is very high quality. I love these and wore these on my ski trip to Breckenridge. This little bitty travel essential is so helpful. It attaches to your zipper. Our travel tip community member, Jen Harvey, recommended this to me. My husband has one on his coat for he likes taking his car on drives and stuff. It's easy to pack, very lightweight too. Okay, these, I want to buy like three more packs of them. You get like 35 in one pack. They feel so good. I just love the quality of these bags. They're great for little pills like that. The closure is easy to do, but it is a secure closure as well. They just feel so good. <laughs> you could put your luggage tracker in there. This bag right here, see how little it is? It was recommended by one of you. It's a dry but breathable bag for wet soap or shampoo bars. And if you have to pack right after taking your shower or washing your hair, you can put the super wet soap or shampoo bar down in here and the liquid will not come out. But somehow it dries what is inside here. It's this brand new technology and it uses the YKK kind of clasps. I don't know if you saw this in my gift ideas video from Amazon, but it's a new way to take, or not new, but it's a cool way to take pills. If you have large fingers, these are so easy to work with, but they're still a strong closure. And what I do is I just took this to Breckenridge with Advil, Tylenol, and some vitamins in here, and it was plenty big enough or yeah, big enough for me. And this outer case is dependable. I know some of you need a container that can keep things cold. You don't need an ice pack, but you need for it to be cold. This goes in the refrigerator and they also give you a replacement pack in case you lose it. And with 85 degree weather, this will keep the inside contents cool. 
If you need a video about how to pack different medicines, I will link one up here in the description paragraph below. I will link that one and then this special free program for anyone who has mobility issues or special needs that are un or invisible even for the TSA line that may help you. If you are taking medicine that does need an ice pack, it is completely allowed by the TSA. All right, those are my newest travel essentials from Amazon for this year. I will link them below in the description paragraph. Right above the shirts that I designed for you is the, a paragraph. So click at the end of that first sentence, show more or more, and it will show you everything, including my newest interview with my favorite pilot, more about his job, because I know a lot of people are fascinated by the job of a pilot. Um, so be sure to look at that and say, hey, if we have not met yet. Thanks for your time.